Hello everybody and welcome back to the Limit of Adhesion for our final race of the season. I am Jake. Joining me is Jason. How are you? I am very well, thanks. How are you? Excited for this one. It's going to be... <laughs> positions are going to be made or lost here for the championship. That is true. Points are tight. As you can see, I'm Nick Leo on top, Tony Martin second, Jake Weaver third, Jason Weaver fourth, Novak fifth, Daryl Cloud sixth, Chris White seventh, Durham is eighth, Aaron Jenkins is ninth, Katzer tenth, Joe McKnight eleventh, Cliff Dobbs twelfth, Jay Salmon thirteenth, Key Schooling fourteenth, Juan Escamilla is your top fifteen coming into this one, and I think second through eight is uh, going to be decided today. It, yeah, it's they're they're tight there. Yeah. First place is racked up, but... Starting inside row number one, Brian Mester on pole alongside Jake Weaver. Nick and Nick row two. Nick Leo on the inside and Nick Alfred on the outside. Row three sees Tony Martin and Jason Weaver. Chris White and Mark Brown. Row four. The 96 of Aaron Jenkins and the 53 of Dan Katzer make up row five. I see now you're calling out numbers. Juan Escamilla and Jack Durham, row six. We haven't seen either one of those guys in a while. Jay Salmon, Daryl Klotz, row seven. Alan Phillips, Arizona Ice Tea, row eight. Every now and then I call out numbers. Brian Messer. Well, make it I have a, never. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Is go it ahead. Brian Messer heating up the tires almost immediately there? Yeah. Getting off the line. Well, I have never called a sponsor. You may have called numbers. I have never called sponsors. No, no. That was the first, I think. I do believe. I can't say never. My memory fails me at times. Yep, Brian's looking excited. Brian's uh, swerving and weaving and warming up the tires. Yeah, Brian's had an extremely strong car the past couple weeks. Yeah. It been nice to see what he could do if he uh, was with us all season, but he wasn't, and I'm glad to have him here. And um, yeah, he's made things exciting, I'll tell you, the past few races. Him and Nick Alfred both. can't even say that just that. Jake Weaver having a phenomenal second half of the season. Yeah, I bet he's feeling a little bit better compared to the first half that he had. Lots of bad luck. Yeah, and I'm sure Jack Durham would have been a contender if he could make it, but you know, real life happens and we love to see him come back, but stuff gets in the way at the time, maybe next season. Yeah, you gotta take care of real life matters first as the cars come out of turn four. They're gonna rack back up, not back up, but they're gonna rack up. Ice truck leaves. Barney's got the flag. And we're racing at Indy Motor Speedway. Don't we got three stars in Indianapolis. No, there is not. There is, just not on either side. Actually, you know, that car hasn't been in the oval in a while. Exactly, but you know what today? I saw that they were testing after the road yeah. course. Yeah, there was a little meme sticking out there. I know we're not talking about the race actually right now, but um, I watched Dale Jr. talk about it today on the Dale Jr. download, and he said that there was something about a meme in Indianapolis, and they're going to come around again, so... Three wide, coming out of four. Yeah, and Messer lost two spots on that start. That was turn three. This is turn four. Weaver's out front. There you are, three wide again. Yes, yeah, so you're not wrong. Three wide coming out of four. <laughs> you were right. Uh, yeah. I can work for the team or with the uh, 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 Psychic Network. I don't know who that lap went to, but I'm assuming it went to the 27 of Jake Weaver. 
I wouldn't think so. It was awful close. Ooh, Ooh. big sideways yeah. moment. Mm-hmm. He's going to lose some momentum there, and it looks like Ledge is going off for a ride. And the two XW teammates are now hooked up. Yeah, it looked like Chris, uh, Chris White ducked down just to let him know he was there, perhaps. And then shot right back up. Need for going the inside. Tony Martin here. That is a battle for points on the track and points in the championship. Let's go very close to championship points. I think that those is, two guys are just racing each other today. As I say, that's a battle to watch on track because I think whoever comes out ahead of the other will gain spots in the championship. Big hard hit for Jay Salmon. My Uncle Daryl. Yeah. In case you don't know. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jay Salmon, that is Jay Salmon in the goop car, and that is his is, is Uncle Daryl in the Amsoil car. Yeah, another tight battle to watch tonight is uh, Chris White and Jason Weaver. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, Hard hit for both of those cars. Yeah, poor the yeah, ledge just lost the rear end getting on the apron there and uh, creamed the brown. Yeah, Mark Brown had to be just in the wrong place at the wrong time. It looks like we're staying green. Battle for the lead has not come down. Oh. I see Chris White getting losing a little bit there on exit. Nick Leo's going for the top spot here. It's Both those guys started on row two. Remember, it was Nick and Nick row two. Right. We'll just keep trading positions. He's top three. Well, you know, might lose a spot to Brian and Leslie. Yeah, in less than a lap, he was he was leading there less than a lap ago. Yeah, I think Alfred dipped down just to slow down his momentum. Because it did look like he was coming for the top spot, too. Side of Brian Messer, Tony Martin just behind. And there's one of the names you mentioned earlier that we haven't seen too much this season, Juan Escamilla. The gold car. Got a new car. Here's Lynch. Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, Mark Brown didn't even know that was coming. That happened fast. It did. I'm sure Ledge didn't know much before that, but yeah, here's a shot. It's just gonna. <laughs> Mark Brown's probably sitting there going, "What the heck just happened? I have no idea." <laughs> yeah. And unfortunate. I mean, the guys stay on the track and they're heading in the right direction. Nobody actually stopped, and this day's good. Huge disadvantage now for both of these guys. I guess Sledge is backwards, but... Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth right here. 
Knows the tail. His cats are Sam. Sam locks him up for his 11th. Jack Durham in the pits. We're showing Scott Baker. He did not actually grid. No, I think he might be actually be on the crew for Messel. SDK in the quarks. Yeah. Seems like every time I look at those three cars, somebody else is leading. Yeah. They have been going back and forth quite a bit. It's Messer, Alfred, and Leo at the moment. And Tony Martin and then Jake Weaver with Escamilla right behind him. Got Weaver. Phillips, White, and Cots for top 10. Salmon and Katz are in a battle. I can see their names flopping on the board. And that's uh, the ledge involved in with a two. He's two laps down. Yeah, compared to Brown's one. Yeah, that's, hmm. Well, I can't say, well, we saw Ledge turn around backwards up against a wall and, and Mark Brown was headed in the right direction. Under power, so. True. I can see where that happens. Ledge is now in between Salmon and Catzer. Oh. Tony Martin. See, Nick Leo's got around Brian Messer back up in the second, and Brian's gonna try the inside here, coming out of two. Just a little bit of gap back to Tony Martin, and another little gap back to Jake Weaver. And Seem like uh, anybody's really running away with it right now, especially with these front three. Every time I see him, like I said, they're swapping positions. Yeah, the gap back to Weaver and uh, uh, Escamilla has opened up a little bit, but sure, these guys are racing hard, and, and Leo doesn't have to. He, he's pretty much he's got this championship coming into yep, tonight. So, but I'm sure he's looking for another win. Because he's had not a dry season, but a dry season for Leo. How much has changed here? Alan Phillips, I'll tell you though, is uh, came from fast all the way, or last all the way up to eighth. And the soup. Super early run for him. I believe uh, Martin has caught the leaders as well. Unless it was a camera angle. Yeah, maybe. No, he's there behind Brian. Lots with a clean car, even with that bump. Back up front, Alfred and Leo are starting to pull away from Messer and um, Martin.
Alford keeps trying to break that draft. This early though, I don't, uh, although I don't know, the three of them have been racing quite hard, so. I guess do what yeah, you want, but I think I would be <coughs> not too sorry, worried about it right now, but yeah, that's going to be getting into the wall yeah. off of four. Six of Jason maybe has cut these two. And I think that gap to Martin's closing up too. Back up front. Another lead change. <laughs> I think this is the. Uh, I think we've had more lead changes in this one race than we have had all season. Uh, pretty close. Twenty-five percent of this race is finished. Messer hitting the wall hard. I heard that from way back here in turn three. <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah. <laughs> Car is very slow. It doesn't look like there's that much damage on the thing. I mean, the paint's still all on it. Yeah, Escamilla's dropped a couple places as well. Yeah, but uh, Brian has lost a lot here. Just waiting, Uncle Daryl. This is a battle for ninth. We got the, <laughs> this is two guys on the screen I've talked to over the past year or so. I mean, I've known I've known Chris for a few years, but Daryl I've known for just about a year now. The interests that they have as hobbies is amazes me. Yeah. Chris Chris White is huge in the music industry. Huge in the music and I say in the in the industry, he, he's he's done a lot of the music and I was floored when I heard that he actually played with um, a jug band that is very popular well, it has been very popular on YouTube. You've probably seen them. And uh, Daryl is a huge American history buff. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be a little sideways there. Sounds like might almost be something wrong with the car. Yeah, it didn't. Or, or it didn't. Desk equipment. He could have been just an indecision. I don't know if he thought maybe he was just, I don't know. It looked like he was going to retire there for a minute. And... Continues on. It's front five have gapped out. That's going to be a down pay road. Front six have gapped out. 18 laps in, we're going to start seeing some handling, handling issues come into play here. I would bet that Leo and Alfred, at least, are going to fall off a little. Just, just by how hard they've been racing. Because here comes Tony Martin. Tony Martin is... Uh... I'll shoot. I'll get everybody playing. Currently in 
second in points. So he's having a, on a and I misspoke in the last race. It's, you know, he has had some issues, but it's just something, I guess, it's just the driver we never talk about that sneaks up on you. And the man he has to beat is right behind him. You know, I mean, we, we've talked about Jake, and we've talked about Nick Alford, and we've talked about Nick Leo. We don't talk much about Tony Martin, he's second in points. I thought he was just having a, a season that wasn't as good as I thought it was, but as I go back and I look, I'm like, he's stellar. Yeah, it's like him and him and Nick Leo have been the most consistent. I mean, they haven't it, been winning it, races, but they've been top five almost every week. So Exactly, exactly. That's where I was going with that. Yeah, he's just consistently up front. Not somebody we talk about too much, and that's unfortunate, but... Um, <laughs> he's second in points. He doesn't have a win, but he's he's just consistently in the top five. That gap is no more between the first group and the, I guess, second group. I mean, both groups yeah. have kind of lost members, but. Yeah, the top four have closed up a little bit. Tony Martin for sure. I guess Jake Weaver as well. I mean, they, they were a little run off the back, but they are right now. It's a three-way race between second place here. Martin going to the outside, Weaver as well. This is, I say, not really a multi-groove track. There's a couple of lines you can take through the corners, but that's about it, too. Yeah, and those cars may have been closer together than what appeared on TV as well. So they may have all just went to go give each other space there. Martin, low off turn. Oh, I don't know. Four. Was that one turn? That was turn four. Yeah, we're going down the front street now. And we were pushing Alfred. He may have uh, taken a little more, more tire than he, he could have and compromised him. So. And as Whoa. Martin getting loose, as this is going on, Nick Leo seems to be stepping out by inches a lap. Weaver and Martin were pulling on Alfred going down the straight there. Just ran out of road. And, and I will say this is our third season. Oh, who is that? That looks like Stan Ketzer. Is that Dan Katzer coming down right? That's not a Google car. No. Wow. All three yeah, of them. Look, yeah, it looked like it. Two of them looked like hit the wall. And, and 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 I know these three are here, but uh, Nick Leo does not seem to be pulling away much at all. I haven't looked at the times; just visually, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, surprising! Jake Weaver right there, and Alan Phillips, who like again since started last, is right there in uh, sixth spot. 
Yeah, I would have to watch their gap to this group too. That might be closing. Weaver with a run. They're going to stay side ooh, by ooh. side. 27 driving hard off turn. One? One. One. I'm trying. I'm learning. I'm trying. <laughs> Even with that bobble, he's still there. Tony Martin Probably. drives way wide. The problem with this is I can't see the entire track, and then uh, you get lost. Man. You do get lost because all the corners look the same, and if you give me a split second, I'll know if they're between one and two or three and four. But that's this Jay Salmon coming in for his pit stop and fast repair because I saw the side of the car pop back out. A little early for. Uh, I would say just a touch early for a scheduled pit stop. Yeah, they might be going for an undercut. So here comes Messer, too. Got Phillips, Messer, Katzer, and Salmon. Hmm, maybe this is a scheduled stop. Just seems to be a little early. They decided they we're losing too much time and need to make an adjustment and gain some time. And like you said, an undercut, so you gain some time on a, on a couple of laps early. Yeah, especially the pace that Messer was showing early on. He could make up a lot of it here. Alfred running high, that might compromise his line, but he did try to slow down the 27. Gets a little loose. Oh, big loose, big loose. Just barely bumps the wall. I wonder if this will bring out a caution. It should. It does. Ooh, Daryl. That might be some unfortunate timing for him. Yeah, I think if I was, if, if I didn't have to stop, I would have did a drive through and not actually, you know, just drove through the pits, came back out on the track and stopped the next lap or whatever. It's really unfortunate for those guys that just did stop. I think Klotz will just get a end of the longest line. Which will put him behind lap traffic, but And that's, uh, too, I mean, it, it, I, I, I don't know. Will he get the penalty? If he was in the pits before, I mean, technically in real life, I know we can't really do that, but in, in, if you're in the pits before the cop ship comes out, you're in the pits, you don't get penalized. You're just in an unfortunate, it's, it, you're in a, in, a, in a situation that uh, is unfortunate because you pit while the caution came out. You know, I've never had to deal with that situation on iRacing, so I don't know what happens to him. Yeah, yeah, I don't either. I know he was, I, he had to have been on pit road when the caution came out. He must have been through the commitment cone. Which would have put him just a lap down, not the longest line. Penalty, not a closed pit situation, but he, he was on a lead lap, and now he's going to be a lap down. I guess it would just matter if he leaves on a pit closed pit or not Katzer stays out no Katzer just Hammond. come in so yeah, that's Chase oh maybe that was Katzer stay out nope there's Dan Katzer right there Jay Salmon stays out Jay Salmon was just in pit lane with Messer gotcha I'm looking at five different Computer screens right here right now. So <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> oh, big slide. Yeah, that's a big mistake for the 2070. Still can't get 
Oh. He's oh. Oh, no. oh. and the crew goes so to work. He is. Oh, he's going to lose a ton of time with that. It's scary. Like, it's it's scary backing up on pit lane. There is like, I racing gives you no. There's no leniency with that is going true. in reverse penalties. So that is a yes. You are right. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's like a DQ. Yeah, well, it is a DQ. They will disqualify you. Holy smokes! You are right. I didn't even give that a thought. That's a, that's. Oof, close. And the fact that he had to do it three or four times. Yeah. Uh, there might be a little contact there. There might be. Kind of tough from that, but you're right, it was close. You see, he does get a oh, little yeah. loose, but there still was contact. Yep, yep. You can hear it. He got a little loose, had to back out of the throttle to catch it, and the 27 just got into him just a little bit, just enough to turn him. Oh, he still comes out of their third. Oh, is a wreck back that. up. Yeah, we got Nick Leo on the inside, Tony Martin on the outside. First and second in the championships. Look at that. And that's something. There's Messer in the back. We'll have to see where he. How, how long it takes him to get back up to the field? And I want to say this, Tony Martin is out in front of Jake Weaver. We started, to, we talked about that earlier in the race. But that was going to be a battle all day long for the championship. Yeah, Martin was and, mm, mm, way wide going into one there. Yeah, I agree. I just uh, had a very bad start there, restart. I don't know what the, what the issue was, but... It's a race for second place in the championship. Between Martin and the 27 and Jake Weaver. Right, that's what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, it's, you said, you just said race for the championship. I didn't want to. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Yes, my apologies. A race in the championship? Yeah, that was a race for second place. Here comes Brian. It's next to the. Jake Weaver already. And Chris White up to a race high at P3. Phillips up to a... Phillips up in fourth? No, he's left down still, I think. Oh, he is? Oh, he is. He does move up, though, to let Martin by. The clock is on the lead left, so... I am noticing that. Daryl Klotz is 10th on the lead left. Messer pushing for all he can get here in the opening laps of this he was restart. Dead last on the outside row. They do have a nice route roar to them. At certain times, though, the Gen 6 has had a good sound, too. Oh, I'm sure they do. Chick Weaver is ahead of Tony Martin now for the first time all night. There's 
is our newcomer to the Next Gen Series, Mark Brown. He has raced a couple of races with the Open Wheel Series. Yes. In the IR 18s? Yes. Although I can say that it is difficult for me to see Mark in this uh, color paint scheme after not, not not that it's a bad paint scheme I'm not saying that but it's he has a green paint scheme in the IR18 and here it's a little peach colored so <laughs> I have to stop and think I mean we all know how bad I am with names there's Brian making a move for second position down on the bricks. That, you gotta be careful doing that. You'll end up doing what Leo just did. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in an open wheel car. I mean, I know we were just talking about them, but those open wheel cars will... Oh, that just, in, just to the left of that white line down there will completely destroy your car. It's like, it's like something reaches out and grabs it. Yeah, like that. Yeah, just like that. Martin looks like he's struggling right now. He was pretty strong the first half. Yeah, it was solid. Last time we were, trio. Yeah, last time we were here, uh, it was a race of fuel saving. I don't think we're having it this time around. Well, I don't think so. We could. We could. We were, what, 20 laps into that race? And uh, it was one from there on fuel strategy. 20 laps, we had a caution in that race. He has left 20. And it was just outside the fuel window. So you either had to stay out and save or do a splash and go. Yeah, drive like heck and get the, get the fuel. Turns out that it was, uh, at least for Big Weaver, that it was uh, the thing to do was just to stay out and conserve. He did have help. He did have help. Lucky help from Chris White, who happened to be lap traffic. It just... Oh, Master. Oh, hard. Just got together and was allowed to allow Jake Weaver to save some fuel. Salmon in the wall. Arizona T car, the 41 of Phillips. He is doing all he can do to stay in that lucky dog spot. Yes, I, I, I believe he is in it. He is the first car I lapped on, so he is our lucky dog at the moment. He's keeping pace with these guys, so why not? As long as he doesn't hold anybody up and uh, let him go. Martin and Weaver. Martin's going to hold it off. In the meantime, though, these two cars lost a lot of time. Yeah, they were. I mean, even to each other. Well, Leo to Alfred. I say a lot of time. They're pretty, still pretty close, but they, they were a lot closer.
fun stuff. This is uh, the whole season's been like this. Is amazing stuff. Currently, Jake Weaver is ahead of Tony Martin by one car in the race. Don't know what that's going to do with the points, but it's going to help anyways. Coming in, Jake Weaver was third and Tony was second. Championship standings. It'd be really, really cool. I know it'd be difficult, but it'd be really, really cool if SDK had live points. That would be cool. You know a couple of programs. We do. We had some guys in the league that could do that. And we know some people outside of the league that could do that. They come up with their... All right, I'm putting this out there. Come up with a standalone... Uh, overlay? Standalone, yeah, standalone program for an overlay that could keep track of championship points during the race. That would be really cool. Twenty to go. Yeah, that's uh, Phillips and Salmon. Eighty-six trying to get to the inside of Tony Martin here. Martin needs every position he can have right now. All right, Messer up front. This is the largest lead gap that we've seen. Yeah, all race. You're right. And Brian did come from dead last on this restart. Past every car on the track except for Durham, Escamilla, and missing one. Making it come around. Right, Chief. Baker. But he didn't get around Baker. You're right. Baker never stuck. Oh, 86. That battle's over for now. Sure it is. White and Klotz at it again. Mm-hmm. Battle for eight. But White given a lot of space. Yeah, Daryl did too. Daryl came off a little shallow. Well, quite a bit shallow. You see that here all the time. Though. Nobody wants to wreck anybody, so they all give each other too much space sometimes. Too much space, yeah, in this league. Yeah, not just here at the track, but yes, yeah, in this league. Everybody, you're right. It does happen. Quite often. Um, Sir, Alfred, Leo, Weaver, Phillips is left on, and then way back to Tony Martin and Jason. Well, Jake Weaver is is seems to be on a mission late. He's coming, I think. Cause he's in the camera shot now. Yeah, and he wasn't earlier, you're right. And Nick Leo is 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 closed that gap to Nick Alford. I think they've closed the gap to Messer a little. Oh, I agree there too. 
This this could be interesting with 16 to go. It looks like the um, faster cars are behind the leader. Yeah, Brian's lost a whole mess of ground to Alfred, who's lost a little bit of ground to Leo, and all three of those guys have, are losing. Oh, it's almost clear as day on that. He's about four tenths. When, yeah, we started lost. when we started talking about it, it was about four tenths. There he lost a little bit. It didn't look like he was as close. But these two still look like they're gaining on Messer. Oh, yeah, that 27's coming. And unfortunate for Phillips because he's he clearly got a very fast car as well. I think Messer has l l lost the front of that car. Yeah, last time by, Weaver had about two seconds on the leader. Yeah, I think Brian's cooked the right front right off that car. And maybe he can keep up if he gets a toe. Not a toe to pits, but on track he might but he's still got to uh, make it through the corner without going as wide as he is yeah I think uh, <laughs> I mean, it's clear as day these guys are going to get a mirror full of orange and Brian's about to see it first, I think. The issue, I think, is, I mean, Jacob Weaver can get there, but can he? He might be able to get around the 51 kind of easy, but the other two, that yeah, Brian just pulls over and lets him go because he knows the handling is gone on that car. He's just trying to survive here the last 15 or 13, 12, Whoa. 13 laps. Ooh, ooh, as we see it there. 27 might be able to make it to the back of Nick Leo, but getting around is always another story. Alfred trying to break the draft. Yeah, especially here with only really two lanes. And it's not even a two, it's not even a, a real two lanes. No, you really only got, you've only got the short shoe. You can get in going into one and three, and then you just hope that you don't get loose because that's a, that's a product you get loose coming off of those first two corners into excuse me second four the defensive line here is not to be down as low as you are but also not to be up a car width high I would think it'd be about a half a car width off so nobody could get under or above you right I mean that's what I would think I don't know if that's true. Alfred doing what he can to break the draft. Yeah, 27 has gotten around Messer, but I don't think he has not gained that much around Leo. Came in hard. Just can't seem to gain anything here. And as I say that, it looks like he gets a great exit out of four. That was like two car lengths. At yeah, he least. gained a ton there coming out of four. Gonna go to the inside of Leo. If he can keep it down there, he's got to keep it down there. That's his responsibility to keep it low. If you're going to shoot the inside, it is your responsibility to stay there. We are door to door. This is where he got the run the last time, coming out of four here. Ooh, small he the angle. Shoot. Yep, and yep, Leo loses the nose a little bit going through the short shoot. Weaver gets the pass done. Sets his sights on Alfred with a 10 to go.
nothing against Leo and Messer at all, but I think Alfred's going to be uh, the most difficult to get around. Except if he does that. Yeah, he just lost it there a little bit, and I saw Messer did it the corner before. Wow. Huge run off the corner. Gets in the spot in, forces Alfred high. Into the shoot. One and two. Just gotta keep it down there. He's gonna clear him coming out of four. He is. Now does now does Alfred uh, does Alfred, I mean, we don't like to talk about that much. It doesn't normally happen here. We do from the bottom, but does uh, Alfred give the 27 a little bump? I would. I would. Possible. I mean, as long as it's not overly aggressive. Then... No, 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 because that will get you in trouble. But, I mean, a bump and run, as long as, if it, as, long as it works correctly. But you gotta get there. It looks like the 27 has got a couple of car lengths on it. 15. Yeah, and, then, and after that pass, the 27 made, the 15 had his mirror full of jewel. True. True. Alfred's gotta be, I mean, Nick Alfred's gotta be worried about Nick Leo behind. Lost Brian Messer. Yeah. Somebody that was just running so dominant so early, just I mean Messer drove the snot out of that car trying to go from back to the front on that last restart. And then made it, and then created a gap that we hadn't seen all night. So I'm sure. I'm wondering if he had paced himself a little better getting through the field there, he'd be better in better shape right now. And that's just me sitting here behind the microphone guessing. You've got track time. <laughs> I know, but it's just... Uh... You just don't ever know. You don't know. You don't know what's going through a driver's mind as they're racing. Just a little too aggressive early, and, and, and it might have screwed up his late race run. Might not have. Might have been too cautious and not even made it there. This is a battle for eighth between Chris White and Dan Katzer. Phillips is still holding on to that lucky dog spot. Not that we would want to see that happen right now. Sorry, Phillips, but... <laughs> Although I think that would make an exciting finish between... Well, the top five, top six cars, even. And this, he's not, he's, I don't know if this is the first time he's been in a next-gen car, but it's, he's not in him often. Mark Brown? Yes. Oh, that looks like Katzer has taken yeah. eighth. Yeah. Put a gap on Chris White. Whoa! Ooh. Leo. 
Five more, Nick. Yeah, five more. Just hang on to it. It's not linear. Yeah. And this, this, this isn't over either. I mean, one small oh, no. slide, one loose moment from the 27, and then the 15 is all over it. All yeah. over it. And it looks like you gained a little bit, just like right there going through the corner. Visually, I mean, I'm not looking at the clock, but. like he lost some there going down the straight. A little sideways. Leo is falling way off. I think he has completely lost that car. Battery's just backed off because all he's he going to do is bring it home. Yeah, he just got to finish. He doesn't even have to finish, actually. He just... But there's no point in driving hard and wrecking for no reason. So, yeah. Two to go. So everybody's just kind of like sorted out and hanging out. don't know if I noticed Jay Sam going into the pits. He pitted. He was with that early group. But other than that, on. I don't know. It kind of looks like he's retired. I just don't remember that. <sighs> Alfred driving hard. This is the rear again. He's got to do it if he's going to do it. And he's got to be with in that draft, too. Otherwise, he's... I think that's what he's trying to do is just stay in it. White flag. half a lap to get it done. Don't know unless the 27 makes a mistake. I was going to say, unless unless mistake's pending, I don't think he can get there. He's going to get it done here. Jake Weaver's going to come home in as the winner, this is what season three, official season three. We have had four races at Indy, and that gentleman right there has won all four. Yeah, he has. I mean, even during our preliminary test season, he won Indianapolis. That is. Uh, <laughs> I guess he likes this track. Successful at this track. Alfred giving it's him a congratulations, I think. It's a fun little track. I shouldn't even say little track. It's a big track. Fun track. It is. And it's not... I don't know. It's not as simple as it looks, I don't think. No. It'd be cool to see the NASCAR Cup cars come back here. But, yeah, congratulations, Jake Weir. Congratulations, Nick Leo, on the championship. I'll put that out there. We knew that coming in before this race. There is the Art of Bricks.
waiting for Nick to come up here? It's possible. There's Daryl Ledge. There goes Nick. There goes Chris. There goes Chris. I was saying, there goes Chris. <laughs> Chris is just enjoying the the uh, the season, I think. These cars are idle. Sound good. They sound good when they're at song. True too. Especially when there's three or four of them together, or a bunch of them together. Nice little shot of Dan Katz are there. Brian Messer. Liking this. Here comes Leo. It's our champion. <laughs> nice. <laughs> two, two, it has two championships for Nick. It is? These two celebrated together in season one. They did. And you say season one. Yeah, go ahead. There you go. There's the race results. Nick Lee is your winner. Nick Alford coming in second. Nick Leo third. Brian Messer fourth. Tony Martin fifth. Jason Weaver sixth. Daryl Klotz up seven for the day in seventh. Dan Cassers eighth. Chris White ninth. Alan Phillips. Mark Brown. Lawrence Aaron Jenkins. Jay Salmon. Juan Escamilla. Jack Durham. Here is your championship standings. Nick Leo on top. Jake Weaver does come home in second. Tony Martin gets third. Klotz is fourth. Chris White fifth. Sixth. Jason Weaver seventh. John Novak eighth. Jack Durham. Aaron Jenkins ninth. Dan Katzer eleventh. Eleventh is Jace. Sorry, tenth. Eleventh is Jay Sam and Joe McKnight is twelfth. Plus Dobbs coming home in thirteenth. Nick Alfred fourteenth. Monas can be a fifteenth. Key scoring by Messer. Alan Phillips. Alex Lamy. Dave Hughes Jr. for your top 20. Wow, points are pretty close there from third on down to about eighth or ninth. They're just really tight. Kind of thought of. We haven't seen him today. Uh, he was in and out throughout the season. Mitch Day making an appearance, coming home in 23rd. Appearance to the season, I mean. Mm hmm. It was nice to have him back. It was. What a great season. What a great season. It was a great race. And uh, I think things just get better and better and better as we go. Yes, if you enjoyed this season, you have iRacing and you would like to give us a try. Our Discord will be in the link description as it always is. You can just come and chat, hang out, see what's up. That's right. Awesome show. Awesome show. Congratulations, Nick Leo. Congratulations, Jake Weaver. Jake Weaver uh, second points, Tony Martin third. Jake gets the win tonight. It was a it was a great, great, great. I really, uh, really appreciate everybody uh, watching the videos. I really appreciate the drivers coming out, and uh, I think uh, this is a great, great thing we got going here. Yeah, the second half of the season was was tight racing. Mm-hmm. It was. This seemed to get better and better. Every race was awesome. It did. Well, on behalf of the other way, we say thank you for hanging out with us for season three. Season four should be coming around in September, late September. There you go. Say thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it like we did. We'll catch you in season four. Have a good one. Goodbye.